was young, there were two things I loved, trains and farms. Meeting Mike Jones, my husband, was like a dream come true. He was from a small train stop town and his family had a farm. I'd found my John Boy. Yes, my favorite television show was The Waltons and in my mind, Mike was John Boy. And when Mike told me he wanted to go to Glens Ferry, Idaho for his 40th reunion, I saw this as an opportunity to take my own video camera and document the event. What do you worry about when you think about going to a reunion? Be honest. What do I worry about? Well, you always want to make sure that you don't have snot hanging off your nose. Or... We had received an itinerary, and it included signing in on Friday at the local Elks Club. Arriving there at 3 p.m. was a bit disappointing when only one car was parked outside. I think Mike might have wondered what had happened to his class. What did you play? The clarinet. You played the clarinet, I played the trumpet, and then um, he switched me over to the French horn. We invited Deb McKeith, now Jenna Shack, Laura Parrish Creech, and her son Andy to join us for dinner at the Carmela Winery, which included a restaurant. I think most of the dinner was spent trying to remember things, places and times of events that had occurred when they were kids. Each time they burst out laughing was the result of a new discovery of information. Friday night's agenda included a melodrama at the historical theater in town across from the railroad tracks. The piano player who was performing music for the play was a woman named Mrs. Nichols in her 90s. She had been one of Mike's teachers. Like so much of everything in the town, the theater was built in the early 1900s and is still being used. Jones, who is, the hell is Mike Jones? <laughs> well, he was in your class, wasn't really? he? The street dance brought forth more classmates, and Mike got to enjoy libations and good company. I was obsessed with watching the trains go by. If you stand anywhere near them, you feel the earth move really move. By the time we got home, Mike was, um, well... On Saturday morning, we went to Hanson's Cafe for breakfast. The town was also celebrating its three island crossing and had a nice parade. The parade is interesting to me in that small travel trailers that go through are reminiscent of the old wagons crossing. Maybe it's just me that sees this connection. The afternoon was to be spent at the local park visiting with classmates. Each time a car pulls up and another classmate arrives with a spouse or alone, everyone slowly reintroduces themselves and most seem to enjoy it as a new arriving classmate tries desperately to remember who the hell everyone is and was. Everyone seems very happy at the Elks Lodge on Saturday night. Welcome to the Glens Ferry 1971 class reunion. 40 years, but I'm not that old. <laughs> I catch Terry as he is cutting up watermelon. Do you remember Mike and any stories about him? We were in high school. We had speech class. Okay, well, the speech teacher we had just didn't have a clue about what was really going on in the world. And so... Mike and Riley got this play out of Playboy magazine about drugs and it was in the Seven Dwarfs. And this guy never had a clue the whole time it was going on that they were talking about. Your name, please. <laughs> My name's Riley. It is a recording. <laughs> Hi, it's Marva. My name's Deb Carnahan. Paul Agasquitha. We've got a pretty nice presentation. Larry Farwell. They're doing some site built homes. Diane Farrell. Doing some, um, Crockett. Gary, I'm with Diane. <laughs> Louis Orlando. Name is Marge Pierce Wise Pack Schmidt. Dinner is very good, and before we eat, the classmates who have come gather at the back of the lodge for a group photo session. They are fun, funny, and are always making a lot of jokes about each other.
working as a wine taster in Paris. <laughs> the rest of the evening is shared stories, questions about those who didn't make it to the reunion, and the joys and hardships, heartbreaks and successes of the Glens Ferry High School Seniors Class of 71. Like the trains that pass through town, then disappear, the reunion slips into the night and into memory.